okay guys so i'm back with one of my videos this time i'm actually bringing you the wheat farm so on the wheat farm basically all you have to do is keeping it full uh i was out for a little while last week i didn't even upload a video uh, but this time i'm really really catching up i guess on my regular video upload thingy anyways um let's just go ahead and cut straight to the point okay guys so this is like pretty basics after you already have your weed farm all you have to do is just keep on resupplying and keep on resupplying uh, either you can buy them or steal them nobody wants to spend money so we just go ahead and steal them fuck it um, after that you're gonna get a call they're gonna give you the location uh, you can just hang it up it already gives you the location automatically and the resupply will start uh, sometimes it, when you get to the spot there will be um, like a not your personal vehicle that you had to drive sometimes you have to drive some other vehicle back to your wheat farm or sometimes they're gonna be like bad guys and then you're gonna have to kill them and then steal their supplies bring them back to the wheat farm stuff like that um like i said at the beginning uh, just keep on resupplying and resupplying make sure that uh whenever you actually come on the game go ahead and check it see if it's full if it's not full if it's like halfway if it's maybe a quarter resupply it and then after that you can go ahead and do like a team death match or um, you can go ahead and do some ceo if you if you're one of those who like are ceo and at the same time my bike a biker club um, you can do both at the same time as well like you can resupply and then quit the motorcycle club and become my ceo and then you can do like some bmp works or like bmp challenge uh and then oh damn my bad i came to the wrong spot and then after that you at the, at the same time you're getting money from the ceo you resupplying your weird farm and it takes a little while it takes a little while but that's the whole point that's the whole point of this game it, 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 in the whole game there is a shit lot of stuff you can do and some people are like wow whenever i play gta 5 like i don't find what to do because there's too much to do and yeah it's true you never get bored with gta 5 you will always find something to do even if you're not actually doing a job even though if you're not um, doing like a ceo or you're just with friends you're just hanging around and then there comes this time where you're like i already bored of just doing jobs and jobs and jobs so you just want to play it around a little and then you just go ahead and grab a plane or like crash the cars blow up shit and next thing you know you, you don't get bored you still keep on playing the same game all right so we come to the spot this one is actually really funny Oi. don't kill him don't kill him do not kill the guy just keep on shooting you don't have to shoot fast all you have to do is shoot slow whenever you see his head like going down is whenever he gets scared and instead of just wasting all your bullets because i used to like shoot like really fast and the bar will, will go like really, really, really slow. I find this way like way quicker whenever he, he goes like, ah, you know, screaming. That's whenever he's getting really scared. 
But after this, it's gonna give you the location of a car or like where it is, and then we're gonna take it to the wood farm. And there is a lot of whole of situations, like I said at the beginning, like killing bad guys, stealing cars. There is actually one that is really fun because if you're in a motorcycle, you have to drop other motorcycles out of their bikes and then it depends on how many people are playing with you like if you have a friend with you it's gonna be two if you have three it's gonna be three if it's so on so on you know if, you, if you're gonna have like four people at least on your club their supply will be even faster because I believe one person can carry at least a bar and a half of your wheat farm also it depends on the job you're doing because um, there's there's one job that actually gives you a little for it it's uh it's where you where you go to the spot and then there's like a whole a whole bunch of bad guys like making a deal and then you just come kill them all and you throw a flare and then a helicopter drops the supplies and stuff like that and and then after that you, you take it to your wood farm but it only gives you like not even a bar for it that's the only one i actually um seems that it gives you a little after that the rest they give you about like I said one and a half at least one bar if you alone it's gonna take you it's gonna take a while it's gonna take about four to five runs back and forth uh, it's it's I think it's really stupid <laughs> but it's actually a easy making money so it gotta cost you something to be able to make that money it's a really fun uh, thing to do also uh, if you if you're with friends and stuff it's gonna be way 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 fun because maybe you go into the spot where it tells you but why are you going to where the GPS is sending you you freaking blown shut up <laughs> And I'm blocked. Eh. <laughs> I hate when this happens. Damn. But yeah, guys, it's, re it's really, really, really easy to do. I mean, I'm not... I'm not going to say it's the quickest way to make money. It might be the easiest way to make money. Uh, being in a motorcycle club they only one also the one that gives you more money it's gonna be the cocaine the cocaine uh, lab it, it gives you like if you fill it up all the way it gives you maybe about a million and something this one the wheat farm it only gives you to 240 then there is there's a, a, another three that I don't know how much they give you because the fact that I do not own them yet I am planning to own them and then after that I might be able to tell you on how much they actually give you but it takes you a long while especially whenever you're alone also uh, if you haven't if you if you don't know the trick on how to get into like an empty lobby um i've seen a lot of a lot of videos on youtube and like they go into the router settings change it up a little and then uh let's say you don't even you don't even have access to that like or like you don't know how to get to it and then you're struggling with that and you're like, oh man, I can't get into an empty lobby. 
Uh, just keep on, just go ahead, like whenever you start the game, go into story mode. Um, go in, yeah, go into story mode and then on the story mode, just press start, go online. You're gonna join a lobby full of people. Or you're gonna join a lobby where it's only like three, four people and then you, it's gonna be like five. Uh, if not, when you, if you just want to be alone, like really, really alone, um, after you do that, after you go to story mode and then you go online, go ahead and press start and keep on finding a new lobby. After the third or fourth time, it should, it should just send you to an empty lobby. And, we're still in and if it doesn't, I mean, just just keep on trying, just keep on trying, and then the game will actually uh, send you into an empty lobby. Uh, right here, I'm in an empty lobby, and I'm in a public session. But I, I joined a session when it was like full of people, but right, right after I went to my office on the CEO, uh, just to get some snacks, all of, all of a sudden, everybody, like it showed on the left, everybody left. when when I didn't even have to do nothing it was kind of fun but signs I'm alone in this lobby I can do whatever the hell I want and there, there's no players uh, getting in my way which it gets kind of annoying sometimes where you are trying to do a job of the motorcycle clothes or either the CEO when you're trying to deliver your stuff it gets annoying when somebody just goes like it, they, that's all they do they just hunt people that are actually doing that this is why it's better doing it in a public session by yourself um, also, I'm gonna make another video on how to make money, but you have to be a CEO. Uh, and also you you can you can actually uh, do it on a private session. So like if you're struggling with uh, being alone in a public session stuff, you can do it in a private session, but you have to be a CEO. Uh, if you if you haven't, if you're not a CEO, if you're not a, if you don't own a warehouse uh, for the motorcycle club, I recommend you. What I recommend you is go ahead and uh, play the adversary modes that I have for double RP and double money. Um, I believe the one that. The one, the last time I played, it was the the tar four, which it was with the tiles, the color tiles, and then you gotta run on top of them, and then you have to steal it from the other person, and then just keep on doing that and doing that, and then um, in the middle of the map, there's gonna be like some rockets, and that way you can blow them up. But it, 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 it was kind of fun. It was really fun. And it also gives you a lot of money. For every single match, you can earn about uh, forty thousand bucks, maybe. If if you're lucky, and the host puts it as whoever wins three three matches in a row. Um, I I believe the most you can do it now when it was like five rounds I'm, I'm not sure I never been a host for that game but I played it uh, you after you play about what maybe let's say three matches after three matches surely surely you have around 70 75 to 60 50 thousand it's it's not a lot but it is actually the quickest way when you're not a CEO or a 
club a uh, clubhouse you know in a, a clubhouse but if you have a friend that is a CEO or he, he earns a clubhouse you can help him out but you're not gonna oh you're not gonna you're not gonna get that much of a money out of it you can level up from doing that but not getting that much of a money even even the clubhouse doesn't give you a lot of money uh the only one that has an option where you the ceo and the and the bodyguard because you're actually a bodyguard uh, they, this, they're having an, op an option where you can do uh, this works and get the same amount of money you and the CEO which I think is pretty cool I think it's pretty awesome the fact that uh, you can actually help a friend by leveling up and at the same time getting a lot of money you, you can, if, if he is patient enough and doesn't waste the money a lot he can get up to maybe a million in it, it depends on how much time you actually spend doing it uh, but I know you can get a hundred K every single 10 minutes at least a hundred K no I, I'm lying I'm lying maybe a hundred K in like an hour Which is a lot. Maybe less than an hour. I mean, it, dep it depends on how fast you actually do it, but you can actually do it in like 30 minutes, 100K, real quick. Because they're, the jobs are from 10 minutes to 15 minutes. And if you already know how to do it, you can actually do it quicker. And the thing is that the jobs, they don't change. They keep on being the same. So, you always will know what to do and how to do it. But all right guys, this is it. Just remember, keep on filling your uh, wheat farm or cocaine or whatever you have. Um, and then after that, you can actually go ahead and play some, like this one, the new Juggernaut they have for the world RP and double money so you can get more money while you wait while you wait for the supplies to rain down and then after that you can resupply it again and just keep on doing that guys and you you'll see your money will never be gone okay well with that it was the last thing hope you like it guys if you want to see more of my videos just go ahead and subscribe also uh, comment below if uh, you want me to make uh, another video on a specific topic or if you want me to make another video of another game go ahead and comment or send me a direct message um, and subscribe if you haven't that way you will get the update on when I'm posting my videos I'm always posting a video every single week about one or two at least so go ahead and subscribe and that way you will never miss one of my videos see you guys